today I'm gonna be testing out the brand new I'm cold makeup trend. And I hope at least one of you still gets the I'm cold reference. Basically, if you have not heard of the I'm cold makeup trend, the point of it is to just uh, make you look like you've been outside in the cold, enjoying some kind of uh, posh winter activity. Maybe you're ice skating on a frozen pond or walking briskly in the snow. You guys, I don't know a lot about cold activities. It focuses a lot on blush, which is something I love. And it also focuses on on a lot of shimmer, especially like the inner corner of the eyes, under the brows. I've seen people do the lips in a couple of different ways. Like some people go all out with a full on red lip. Other people I've seen do it, um, they kind of use like a lip tint. And I've seen other people do like a very natural lip, like almost the same color as like their lip shade. I just wanted to come on really quick and say hi in a non voiceover style because I have determined that I'm gonna film this video like ye old voiceover makeup look because you guys, I have a confession to make. I have been still filming like makeup looks and makeup tutorials along the way, but I've been just like talking as I'm doing the steps and you guys, I, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I talk so much that it just becomes like a two hour full length feature film. And then I feel like uh, nobody's gonna wanna watch that and it just becomes like so daunting to edit. I am going to not do the super chatty style and I'm just gonna film myself doing it. That way I can also do my makeup down here with my best friend hair dryer. Uh, sippy sippy, let's do our makeup, let's get sassy. I have some new products today, some favorite products. That's the other thing I was gonna tell you guys about just in case you are not already aware the YouTube shopping button is down here. So I will have every product linked for you guys, as well as I may have some coupon codes for y'all in the info box down below. Sometimes YouTube gives me like further special coupon codes to give you guys a bigger discount, uh, but I will have everything linked, right? I think, I think it's on this side. Uh, for your convenience, for your shopping convenience, let's get sassy, let's get started, let's Let's get toasty. Up first, my favorite lip balm. This is perfect for my crusty lips, your crusty lips, if you just so happen to have them. So this is just part of my base routine. Moving on to a dinosaur of a product that I still love, which is the Garnier Clearly Bright Caffeine Under Eye Eye Roller thing. This thing does wonders. Sometimes I just wear this and no other makeup and it just makes you look a little bit more awake, a little bit more uh, refreshed. So once again, still working on the base here. Uh, up next, what am I doing next? Um, I, what I, I appear to still be doing that step. Oh yes, blending that out, of course. Blending, blending, yes. Uh, up next, my favorite primer for quite a while has been Smashbox Primerizer. It is very moisturizing. It's also very thin, so I feel like it just like sinks into the skin. Another dinosaur of a product. I think that this product is actually extinct, which is sad. Uh, because I love it. It is the perfect eye base. It is the Huda Melted and Matte Eyeshadows. And uh, I don't, it, it's meant to be an eyeshadow, but I have used this thing for years as an eyeshadow base. This is just the perfect shade for my eyelids. There you can see one eye with, one eye without. Moving on to the ColourPop Smorkin Hot Palette. I have loved this palette for a minute, especially the kind of uh, peanutty shades, let's call them. So I feel like the I'm Cold makeup look really does not focus on colorful eye makeup looks. It's really about applying an eyeshadow that's very close to your eyelid skin tone color um, and then adding a lot of shimmer. So I'm just using these two shades in the top uh, all over the lid and then a little bit into the crease just to kind of give everything a nice blend before I move on to the shimmery bits. Y'all have to know. I do my makeup in the weirdest 
steps possible. So we are back with a concealer. I remember this LA Pro Conceal like went viral several years ago and I feel like nobody talks about it anymore and I literally do not know why because it's so inexpensive, so amazing and I love this kind of like peachy salmony shade. Um, I feel like it just makes me look very awake, very vibrant. I'm still in the underpainting phase right now so I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the first layer of blush, which is these ColourPop uh, blush sticks. I am loving these things lately. A couple years ago, I went through a phase where I thought all my makeup had to come in sticks, blush sticks, foundation sticks. And I kind of miss that because a lot of these products just work like fabulously. Now to underpaint with a little bit of contour. And I love this NYX Wonder Stick. I have repurchased this thing so many times. So we're just giving myself a little bit of a uh, nose nasal contouring and blending that out. And then next I'm gonna go in with my Holy Grail cream contour, which is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. And uh, I'm just gonna apply a generous of contouring. And then of course, the next step is blend it out. And this is all, of course, you know, before we've done any foundation, but we are prepping the skin for that next. And first off, I'm using some of my very last remaining bits of Dior Air Flash. This was kind of like the primer product. And uh, folks, it was amazing. It truly was. So I just kind of put this on my forehead, my cheekbones, and sometimes my chin, just any area that I would basically highlight. Then we've got my favorite foundation at the mom, uh, which is the Luminous Airbrush um, in a can and uh, just generally applying that all over my visage, visage. How do, you, how do you say the fancy word for face? Now we're gonna get back into the eye look. What specifically makes this look the I'm cold makeup look? Uh, going in with another one of my Holy Grail products. I've used this off and on for years. It's Benefits High Brow. And then I'm blending that out with a uh, lip gloss applicator because I just felt, you know, a little silly, little Little goofy. I feel like I'm trying to not like over blend it. Going in with another product now that I love, which is the It Superhero No Tug Shadow Stick. And uh, this is a white shimmery eyeshadow, creamy eyeshadow stick product. So just applying that to the inner corners of my eyes, eyelids, mm, eye sockets there, um, and then blending that out just a little bit. Uh, now on to what is really gonna make my lids shimmery, which is ColourPop's Drama Season. I love their Jelly Mutt shadows so much. Literally my favorite ColourPop product. Uh, this is just gonna make any look you do pop. Um, but it's especially perfect for this because this is a very shimmery eye look. Onto another one of my favorite products, which is the NYX Lift and Snatch. Uh, this is a, I almost called this a brow sharpie. What do we call this? Liquid brow pin? Is that, is that what I'm gonna call this? I've been using this for years, you guys, and this product will last you forever. Like the same one. And then we're moving on to the next step. I don't wanna say like wax the brows down. This is a product from Physicians Formula that I love. Uh, it's called Diamond Mascara, but it's either for your brows or a clear mascara. It really holds your brows in place and then using a spoolie to really like, you know, blend the product out and keep everything uh, fluffy, but not too crunchy. We're going in with a ColourPop liquid eyeliner. Now, another defining thing that I saw about this look is most people are doing half wing liner. So they're basically just doing a wing, but they're not doing, they're not like lining their whole lid. So um, a little bit of, you know, flare drama on the end, but really just keeping that inner corner very light, very shimmery. I kind of did still go with a pretty Pretty dramatic wing, I guess. I mean, I I tried to tone it down a little bit from what I normally do, um, but I normally do very dramatic, bold, thick eyeliner. So this still looked quite different for me. Um, back in with the blush stick, I really tried to add a lot 
of blush, you guys. I feel like I just kept going back in and like adding more blush. Up next with this Moschino pencil brush. I will never get over how cute these products looked. And with that, I'm taking a Bare Minerals um, now this just adds like a little bit of rose glow to your face. It's called Rose Radiance. I hope they still make this product because it is honestly amazing. And uh, I'm just dusting that all over my face to just make me look more rosy. Going in with NARS, another blush, you guys. Really packing that blush brush thick with uh, blush and, and just go into town with it. I, I mean, I was really trying to like, I don't know if the camera is just like being forgiving with the lighting or something. I, I don't know what's going on here. Now it is time to add more shimmer. And with that, we are using the Cookie Highlighter from Benefit. I've never used this product before, but oh my gosh, like just immediate favorite. I thought it looked so cute. And um, I am somebody, I really love my nose contour to pop. Um, and this, oh my gosh, like this is just an instant favorite for sure. Uh, going back in with yet another layer of the NARS blush there, just really <laughs> packing it on. Um, and there we go, you guys, we're almost done. It is time for the finishing touches of mascara and uh, a lash curling wand. Um, I don't usually curl my lashes, but I really felt like this look was not really one that needed false eyelashes. It just didn't feel, I don't know, it didn't really feel like it went with the vibe. So when I'm not wearing fake eyelashes, I do usually curl my lashes. And uh, then I'm going in with my favorite mascara of all time, uh, which is the It Cosmetics. It was like a collab with Dry Bar. This has been like my top favorite mascara for probably four years now. Then we're going back in with our It uh, Superhero Shadow Stick. And y'all, I have not put any product in my waterline in a thousand years, but I really thought that this look needed it. And y'all, this must really like change how my face looks because I filmed a couple of other videos with this look on. And I feel like I got a couple of comments of people asking if I had an eye lift done. So I don't know if that's like a sign I should be doing this more often. Like, should, do I need more products in the water line? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm kind of making a lippy sandwich here, if you will. I'm going back in and re-moisturizing with the Fab Balm. Then I'm going in with another Holy Grail product, which is Benetent. I definitely decided I wanted to go for the more, um, you know, natural tinted look versus uh, putting on red lipstick. I felt like that would just make the look look more different for me because <laughs> like a red lipstick is my norm look. And I was trying to kind of just do like almost that K-beauty style of lip where you just uh, put the tint like right almost inside your mouth. Um, and then I kind of sealed it all off with another layer of the uh, Fab Lip Therapy Lip Balm just to kind of give me, uh, you know, that kind of uh, wet, lip look, I guess you could say. Lip, lip glossy, lip look. Um, and then did I go back in with more blush? I probably, nope, more highlighter, yes. Uh, just overall, I felt like I needed more blush and more shimmer. Um, and now, Calgon, take me away. That is my final look. So here is my little outro for you guys. Um, also let me know if y'all prefer voiceovers or do you want me to do like a talking uh, get ready with me kind of situation? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, uh, back to me for the rest of the video starring me, okay. I feel like no matter how much blush I'm putting on today, I still don't really feel like I have that super like rosy blushed look like do I need to add more I've like been going back and forth and like trying to like layer and like add more and more and more and more blush it's just I don't know like melting into my skin or something or maybe it's gonna be one of those times that when I'm like going back and editing this footage like it's gonna look super bright but right now you guys I just don't <laughs> see it. The other thing that I was conflicted about was do I put on fake eyelashes or not? 
but I do feel like this is maybe a little bit, do I want to say like a sportier look, you know, because it's supposed to be like as if you're outdoors doing like outdoor activity. So I ended up not putting lashes on just so that it gives it like more of a casual vibe. Honestly, maybe that's like why I'm struggling with this makeup a little bit because I feel like usually it is my tendency. I'm either a person where I'm just like total skincare, absolutely no makeup, or if I like sit down and do my makeup, I want it to be like super, super big, bold, glam. So I feel like it's very rare that I do these very natural makeup looks. So overall, I feel like I'm just not used to seeing myself with like half of eyeliner, but I feel like that's what I was seeing everybody do was just like a little bit of a wing, not like a full thick liner look. Uh, normally when I do liner, I do like the very thick parallelogram liner. So it was definitely a challenge for me today. Plus you guys know I'm like back on my makeup journey. So I feel like I'm honestly a little bit like rusty at doing like a makeup look that is anything like out of what I normally do which is just airbrush foundation bold lashes bold red lip this was like super fun today I have on this fluffy winter hat I did go ahead and add in one of my faux little nose rings I just kind of wanted to do something that was like a totally different look in the end. I feel like the thing that I got the best was like the shimmery inner corner of the eye. I also feel like maybe I need to like reset up my makeup filming area because I'm probably zooming in with the editing, but I feel like I'm too far away from you guys. So that's what I'm saying. I'm just a little bit like rusty. I'm excited to hear all of you guys' thoughts and comments down below. Let me know, would you try this look? Have you tried this look? Um, and how do you feel about like, kind of more natural makeup looks. Like, are you usually way one way or the other like me? Is it usually like everything or nothing? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.